So number one, I was wrong for my actions that took place on Wednesday. And for that, um, you know, I have apologized to my team. Um, I have apologized to Jordan. And, you know, um, I wanted to take that a step further. What up, P Nation? Welcome back to Kimmy Sports, your number one spot for all your NBA news and content with a focus on, of course, Heat Nation, man. If you have not subscribed, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and violate that like button so we can set the YouTube algorithm on fire, man. You already know what it is. Now let's get to the content. Okay. Damn. Jordan Poole and Draymond Green, man. Now, I wanted to talk about this topic only because everybody knows I'm a Heat lifer. I'm a Heat lifer, but I do enjoy watching the Warriors, man. And I think the Warriors are a great team to watch. I like the way they play. I like their style of play. I like how they move the ball they're an epitome of what a basketball team is supposed to move like man they're a clear example for good basketball but watching this whole draymond and jordan Poole thing is one of those things that i had to just sit here and talk about man now if you have not heard and you've been under some type of rock somewhere in the desert dried out draymond green gave jordan Poole the right hook from i don't know what depths he took that one from but my man gave him a crazy punch that connected connected it. For me, that's the part that kind of gets me. It's just the fact that throwing a punch in the league is one thing. You know, throwing a punch and missing, throwing a punch and grazing is one thing. Connecting a punch is a whole nother story. When I first heard about it, honestly, I didn't know what to think. I figured it was just another scuffle, but seeing the video makes it, you know, a million times worse. Now, and I know what a lot of people are thinking. Well, you know, NBA players fight all the time. Yeah, they fight all the time, but not like this. I mean, I've been on bad basketball teams where players have fought each other players have scuffled these things happen people argue people talk shit in the midst of basketball it's a competitive sport people talk shit. sometimes somebody can't take the shit that the person talks or sometimes the person just goes a little far beyond the shit talking and starts to say personal shit. That could trigger some stuff and people will fight it is what it is but at the end of the day i don't know whether the warriors get past this the right way i mean I, like i said i've been on teams where dudes have fought um even on the high school level i've seen my teammates fight each other and be okay afterwards and we're talking about on our high school level which is a level where you would expect them to be a little less mature than the nba level so when you kind of make that comparison you think that on the nba level that draymond green and jordan Poole will be just fine but i think the biggest problem for this is the fact that it is now public for everyone to see and i think that's what's going to make it hard for the warriors to move past it and it's one of those things that you just don't know how it's going to go but i think the biggest thing that everybody's not considering everybody's saying yo draymond apologized of course draymond apologized for what he did took responsibility i was wrong for 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 my actions um if this is gonna work it has to work internally and it has to work between draymond and jordan pool like all these people coming into the mist and trying to you know say that they need to do this and they need to talk it out and it has to be fixed from their level. Draymond has to develop some type of newfound respect for Jordan Poole and show that respect, and Jordan Poole has to respect that. But another way to deal with this is, yo, get that man his five minutes. If Jordan Poole really feels some type of way, them boys just need five minutes, give them that five minutes in a room, pause, and let them do what they gotta do. I doubt it'll go that way, but at the same time, I think it's just one of those things that it's unfortunate for the Warriors at such the beginning of the freaking season. It hasn't even started yet. All we know, the Warriors have fined Draymond Green, no suspension, and he'll play in their last preseason game. Now, this is all going to boil down to whether these two guys can move on. Nobody else is going to dictate this situation outside of Draymond Green and Jordan Poole. They're going to have to be the two that are going to have to put these things aside and get straight back to what they need to get back to. And like I said, Draymond Green's gonna have to show him some type of respect. I mean, the punch that Draymond Green landed, that shit landed accurately. Like, this is the epitome of landing your punch accurately. If Draymond could only land them three pointers, like he landed that punch. Damn. What do you mean by that? The Warriors will be a scary, scary dynasty, bro. At the end of the day, the Warriors are going to have to figure this out because let's just say the end result is that this doesn't work out. And I feel like the Warriors are going to have a lot to look at, especially with Draymond Green being in a contract year. Um, 
and Draymond Green wants big money. Whether the Warriors jump into that and give him what he wants is up in the air right now because everybody's watching this and obviously Jordan Poole has more value to the Warriors at this point because of his age and the potential that he has in the next few years. He's still a young kid and he's developing, he's becoming a star. And Draymond Green is kind of approaching the end of his prime. So it's like the Warriors are gonna have to weigh that out. And I think the Warriors choose pull over Draymond easy. And we always talk about the Heat culture. The Warriors have their own kind of culture. And I think that this altercation has damaged that culture. So it's a bad move for them coming into the season, but we'll see how they respond. It's kind of like the Miami Heat with the blow up on the bench with Eric Spolster. You know, that was a blow up. Um, it wasn't a fight. There weren't punches thrown. But there was shit that was said that probably could warrant a punch being thrown. So at the end of the day, we just have to see how this plays out. I mean, for the NBA, it's something exciting for people to talk about. But nobody wants to see somebody get clocked in the face like that. But that shit connected, bro. But listen, I want to hear from y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about it. Do y'all think Draymond Green should have been suspended? How do y'all feel about the punch? Do y'all think that the Warriors can move past this? Let me know in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button for your boy. Till next time, it's your boy Goods. You know the vibes.